Team Beyond the Week, what's going on? My name is Julian, and I'm so glad to be here for you today. Earlier today, I'm on my way to work. I feel my cell phone vibrate. It's a text message from Brian, and he basically tells me, listen, I understand you put a whole lot of energy and effort into your channel. I believe it deserves more recognition, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this opportunity and allow you to put a video on my channel. Guys, when he told me that, my heart just filled with so much joy because it really meant the world to me. And if you guys can, for you future leaders out there, that's what you want to do. Once you reach, you know, his his level and, and of success, and once you have a platform like he does, reach back and help the smaller guys. And that's exactly what Brian is doing. So if you guys can, just please give this video a huge thumbs up just for Brian and Team Beyond the Week because they've been nothing but nice and welcoming to me. And like Obese to Beast and Lanky Progress TV, they'll comment on my videos, you go baby girl and keep it up. And that just really lights a fire in me and just motivates me to keep creating content and just to know that I have people who have my back. That's always great, so I really love that. But other than that, guys, I'm gonna start this video off by showing you guys a full day of eating because who doesn't love food? I love food. Hopefully, we'll get to know each other through that. And let me just shut up and let's begin. Thanks, guys. Welcome to Elephant TV. That's not even my phone, that's like uh, some girl who just left their phone here or something like that, but. The one way I start my morning each and every day is with a shot of apple cider vinegar, guys. Check it out, so many health benefits. What's going on guys? So I actually just returned from the gym. I did some high intensity interval training and I did that because tomorrow I'm gonna be filming the 20,000 calorie challenge. It's gonna be me and a friend, so I'm gonna call it the 40,000 calorie challenge because me and him have to do 20,000 calories each. So you always wanna do some high intensity interval training the day before you know you're gonna eat a lot. So especially before the holidays or your birthday or whatever that may be. And while I was in the gym, I had two of these guys. This is, I believe, 32 ounces, so I had about approximately 64 ounces of water. I filled it up before I left, so I'm actually gonna finish this as well. And I'm also gonna have a scoop of, uh, it's actually a, a teaspoon of creatine, because I did do some calisthenics work, so that was me lifting my own weight. So I have one teaspoon of creatine, I finished that bottle. I, of course, I have to shower, and then I get onto my first meal of the day. First meal of the day, guys, it is going to oatmeal. It's truly one of my favorite foods because it's so quick and convenient and so tasty. So here is how I do it. I put some cinnamon in it. It's one of my favorite spices in the whole world. Just really adds that kick of flavor to it. I'm adding some coconut oil because I am bulking. And then I'm gonna put a tablespoon of peanut butter, which is fantastic. Then I'm just gonna have some hot water. You can also use some warm milk. I'm adding my favorite whey protein with cookies and cream. And that's how it's gonna look when you're done, guys. And I love starting my morning off with something inspirational. When you leave the office each day, you leave the gym, you leave your house, are people better off than they were before? Did you take time to encourage anyone? Next meal, 88% lean ground beef, some cheese for some excellent sources of calcium and protein. And last but not least, we're going to finish that off with some green beans, which is an excellent source of micronutrients. Here is the finished recipe. As you guys see, I love my ground beef to be really well cooked with a crispy outside and the nice cheese melted right on top of it. But we're missing one thing. Exactly, we're on Brian's channel so we have to put some ketchup on it and it makes it taste so much better too. Next meal guys, we are having some sharp cheddar cheese with my favorite eggs and turkey bacon. For this recipe, we are using five whole eggs. We're gonna cut a little piece of cheese so we can put it in the omelet. And this is your finished product, guys. So quick, so simple, but yet so satisfying. As you see, the lake of cheese and the ketchup. So now we're just gonna apply the ketchup nice and slowly so nobody gets hurt. I'm sure you remember watching MTV Cribs growing up, so I had to do an exclusive for Brian's channel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what's in my refrigerator. This is my ground beef. And back there hiding, I have some Greek yogurt and another extra Tupperware. I have more Greek yogurt right here. I have all my eggs and even more in the back if you can see that. Right here. Then I have my stash of peanut butter, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, 
I have two more containers back there. More peanut butter, and these are the big kind. And of course, the organic ketchup right here. Some sharp cheddar cheese. I have two of those bad boys there. I just have a frozen banana right here in case I want to make a smoothie. Some frozen kale. I have some chicken breast right here. You guys already saw the turkey bacon right there. And I also have pork bacon. Time for the next meal. A can of green beans, an egg, ground beef, cheese, and turkey bacon. And here is the finished product, guys. You have your vegetables, you have your dairy, you have your lean meats. I don't think this could get any better. Or can it? Yes, it can, guys. You have the rain ketchup. And here's one of my absolute favorite recipes, and we're gonna finish off with this. What you want is three tablespoons of Greek yogurt. Next, what you wanna do is apply my favorite spice, cinnamon, and a tablespoon of coconut oil if you're bulking, so it's optional. You want three tablespoons of peanut butter, and you wanna finish off by adding some honey. And if you do not have honey, it's fine. You can always add some agave or just any natural sweetener. And here we're going to add half a scoop of whey protein, which is also optional. And here's the finished product. You see the peanut butter chunks and the coconut oil chunks, and it is just so delicious. I love it. Team Beyond the Week, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I truly appreciate it, and I hope to interact with each and every one of you in the future. But that's it. Big J is not here right now, so I'm going to tell you. Always remember, stay motivated, and may you grow to be as big as an elephant. Take care.